Так, я підготував презентацію англійською, але якщо будуть запитання, то українською безпроблемно відповім, або російською. А так, почнемо. Dear conference participators, organizators, and listeners, my name is Volodymyr Polakov. I am postgraduate student in Institute of Electrodynamics. I will present you some features of multi-agent systems application in the power system. Uh, mainly, report will focus on the next problems. Decision support systems with distributed object control, state assessment of modern power systems, and power systems recovery. The power systems development, which is guided by the concept of smart grid, is directed towards the smart system creation. The global vector of power systems development is carbon-free energy, and this implies a relentless growth of the total capacity of renewables used in power systems. As a result of such growth, the renewables influence on the power system's operational conditions is significantly increasing. The increasing number of dispersed energy sources contributes to the decentralization of electricity supply with the formation of certain conditionally self-sufficient energy areas. Such decentralization creates many problems that need to be solved in real time, taking into account coordination of control actions between the neighbors. On top of that, relevant information should be provided to the top level of management hierarchy as the hierarchical principle of power systems management will be maintained in the future. Using multi-agent systems to solve such power system problems in relevance with the decentralization seems reasonable and is characterized by the involvement of various means of artificial intelligence as well as hybridization with various mathematical models. On the picture on the left, you can see very basic centralized multi-agent system. On the right is operational system, which has actual implementation in the industry. Uh, more about agents. An agent is an entity uh, or a software computer program or a robot that can be viewed as perceiving and acting upon its environment. And that is autonomous, uh, meaning its behavior, at least partially, depends on its own experience. As an intelligent entity, an agent operates rationally in a variety of environmental circumstances, uh, given its perceptual and effectual equipment. Behavior rationality is achieved by an agent on the basis of key processes, such as problem solving, planning, decision making, and learning. As an interacting entity, an agent can be affected in its activities by other agents or even humans. Multi-agent systems used for power applications can be split into three sections, monitoring, recovery, and network control and automation. Monitoring is usually about data collection and interpretation. For example, reading data of different formats in a correct way. Information processes, processing, thus meaning information preparation for decision support systems, and uh, state uh, assessment, mean actual uh, uh, monitoring and uh, also diagnostics of any system being assessed. Uh, power system recovery is mainly about restoration of power supply in distribution grid after accident. And network control and automation is about control under normal conditions and modes of operation. In particular, I will uh, later discuss distributed object control and the decision support system uh, on the next slide. <laughs> For distributed object control, the main problems are the dynamics of the object, structure and complexity of the cause and effect relationships of the ongoing temporal processes. The impact leading to a change in the structure of the object cause degradation of the structural and dynamic models of the distributed object control used by the decision support systems. To ensure the required quality of information support for the development and decision-making processes, multi-agent system can be used because of its flexibility. It allows them to have mechanisms for compensation of these impacts and to maintain correct representation of the structure and dynamics of the distributed object system. For restoration of power supply in the original distribution grid after accident, uh, you can see an example of power grid graph for such a problem on the slide. In the left part of the figure, in the normal state, 
all the loads are distributed between two power centers. Uh, there are no cycles or powered lines. When an accident occurs in such power grid, three consumers marked with dashed arrows de-energize. The situation of power supply restoration when all three disconnected consumers cannot be powered from one power line due to overload is shown in, uh, on the right. In this case, the energized section is divided into two parts by opening the circuit breaker that is normally closed. After that, it becomes possible to power de energized consumers from different lines of the working part of the grid. A method that can be used for such task solving can be described with diamond of participatory decision making. According to this model, the problem solving process in the intelligent multi agent system goes through three stages, which correspond to agent thinking style. It's divergent thinking, grown or a conflict, and convergent thinking. At the stage of divergent thinking, the expert agents generate a variety of problem solutions, and the agent facilitator, which acts like a manager between agents, simulates their development by appropriate methods. For example, brainstorming with leading questions, brain writing pool, challenging restrictions, and lateral thinking. If even with the use of divergent thinking method, there are no contradictions, the problem has an obvious solution and the process is complete. Sorry. Otherwise, um, so the problem is solved and uh, there is no, uh, no conflict. If problem was not solved, we enter the conflict stage in which uh, uh, other methods are used, um, like uh, thinking from other point of view or switching from the point to the uh, shared resources we have to uh, challenge between agents for the resources. And in the convergent thinking, we uh, decide on the solution that will uh, satisfy most of the agents uh, of the system. A state assessment of the modern power system is the complex task. The main challenges are associated with in homogeneity of the calculated schemes, a large amount of process information and the requirement for high-speed software. Distributed data processing in the decomposition of the state assessment task is an effective method for solving these problems. The problem can be split into two subtasks of detecting bad data containing large errors and estimating the state based on quadratic and robust criteria. It's usually solved uh, using structural decomposition, breaking design scheme into subsystems and functional decomposition. Multi-agent systems are a perfect choice for such a solution. Uh, several categories of classes of agents represent the basic structure of the power network, including generation transmission, uh, generation, transmission, and uh, load consumption. Uh, the aim of multi-agent system structure here is to keep the deviation levels of power, voltage, and frequency within the desired limit by collecting data, uh, using the data to come up with solutions, and applying solutions. As mentioned earlier, Today, multi-agent technologies are trying to be applied to a wide range of applications within electrical networks, from monitoring and diagnostics to network management. The driving factor for their application are often such qualities of the system as flexible autonomy. Any intelligent agent that has flexible autonomy has three characteristics. Reactivity, meaning the intelligent agent has the ability to respond in a timely manner to changes in its environment. Initiativity, an intelligent agent has a result-oriented behavior, meaning the agent will dynamically change his behavior in order to achieve his own goal. And sociality, an intelligent agent is able to interact with other intelligent intellectual agents. Uh, this property means uh, ability to negotiate and interact in cooperative uh, or uh, cooperative or conflicting manner. Uh, on top of that, multi-agent systems uh, provide us with distributed nature of its agents, 
the possibility of adaptive behavior and high fault tolerance of multi-agent systems due again to its distributed nature. But the downsides uh, are such as existing interfaces uh, developed by uh, modern power systems are not suitable for multi-agent communications since they require much richer uh, communication language. Uh, there are also security issues because agents are uh, vulnerable to such attacks as a sender substitution or a message substitution. Uh, there is also a lack of experience in actual implementation of multi-agent systems for power control. And also, as different developers uh, develop different ontologies for multi-agent systems communications, as a result, different systems use different ontologies uh, in different communication languages. To sum up, we can say that using MAS is reasonable for solving complex problems that can be structured and presented in the form of a set of technology or information related tasks, subtasks. Uh, the combination of multi agent systems with artificial intelligence and mathematical modeling increases the efficiency of solving tasks. Uh, for some tasks uh, like monitoring, diagnosing object states for abnormal conditions and the emergencies prevention to the local objects uh, and ob local objects control and information preparation for decision support systems. Using mass or is also reasonable to solve power system problems that require autonomy and hierarchical system support since power systems will continue to have hierarchical structure. And uh, uh, least, uh, last but not the least driving factors for the application of multi-agent systems are flexible autonomy, reactivity, initiativity, social properties, distributed nature, adaptive behavior, and high fall tolerance. Uh, but uh, due to uh, complexity of its implementation in the, uh, if implementation will not be led in a careful way, uh, in a thoughtful way, the downsides might, uh, might overweight the positive qualities. Hence, we should uh, pay attention to how we uh, implement multi-agent systems control for power systems. Thank you for your attention. Uh, how, how do you assess uh, the role uh, of um, artificial intelli intelligence uh, in the development of society? Hmm. Artificial intelligence is too widely applied, uh, to say the least. I mean, uh, since I was, for example, talking about multi-agents that can be uh, hybrid, um, that can be coupled with artificial intelligence because uh, each agent can be somehow any, any controllable agent that will communicate with others. But for the society, for example, uh, in our everyday use, we can see uh, everything around us getting smarter, maybe even sometimes smarter than we are because uh, uh, we can look how search, uh, for example, Google uh, search engine has evolved during the latest years. Uh, it went from just using keywords to find the information you are looking for to actually interpreting what you are typing and understanding uh, semantic structure of what you've typed and what you are looking for. Such examples are everywhere. That's why I came up with this one. But for, okay. for my topic, it's, uh, um, it can be used for smart grid since it's decentralization problem and multi-agent system would be actually very, uh, very intuitive solution to such control problem of power systems. Okay, that's right. Um, 